Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Sam. And this is the S33 Electrical Channel. Today we're doing a video talking about EMT fittings and we had a good response. I made a similar video titled Conduit Straps. Um, this one might be titled Conduit Fittings. And um, we had a good response so I wanted to make this video um, because like I said in other videos if I know I'm helping one person that's worth it for me to come on camera and do this. Uh, I'm not scripted, this is unedited. I am a real person, I live in Austin, Texas, and uh, I'm really not anybody special. But um, this is just kind of my way of, of helping people and a creative outlet for me. Um, so this is what I like to do, as well as it makes me feel good to know that people are getting this information and, and benefiting from it. Um, so let's just get started. I want to make this as informative as possible. I'm going to talk about first EMT fittings and I have a piece of half inch EMT here. EMT stands for electrical metal conduit and um, there's two types of fittings when you're dealing with EMT. You have fittings that are rated for indoor and here I have a indoor connector and a indoor coupling or I would call them set screw connector, set screw coupling. And you can see uh, the set screw there. It's pretty easy to understand. The conduit will go in like this, and the set screw would uh, tighten that down. This is a three quarter connector. I have a half inch conduit. One other note about EMT you're going to be bending this stuff, so you'll have a bender for those of you that are new. Um, you're getting into electrical, you're going to see this, especially if you're working in commercial. Um, you have a bender, and that allows you to bend 90 degree bends. You can do box offsets. Um, there's a whole Bunch of different bends, but this is a this specific conduit is bent by a pipe bender tool. Wanted to throw that in there. Um, these are compression fittings, and what the purpose of these are is for outdoor applications. If you're running your EMT outside, these are rain tight and um, keeps the water out. And this is going to be uh, what's required for running EMT on the on the exterior. Um, wherever you may be running it. So the way this works is the conduit goes in on one side and there's a compression here that when you tighten this up there's a little metal piece in here that's going to uh, tighten up around the conduit which is going to make it rain tight. Same thing with the coupling. You have one end go in on one side, one end on the other, tightens up and you're good to go. Um, so that's EMT. I have a, what's a rigid coupling here. So I'm not going to get too much into rigid. Rigid's another thing um, that uh, is more like industrial, but this is a rigid coupling and um, you can use this as a changeover piece whereas you'd have like a uh, EMT coming from this way, go in here and um, if you wanted to come out with PVC that works as a changeover like that. So that's a rigid coupling um, changeover. You're going to run into that. I thought it was worth it to include it in the video. And here I have a EMT pull well. This is going to be uh, for going around tight 90 degree, sharp 90 degree edges or corners where uh, a regular uh, 90 degree bend isn't going to work. You would use a pull well here. And um, again, that's for sharp 90 degree turns. So there, that, that's that, that's EMT, and now we're going to talk about PVC. PVC is a um, uh, more of a plastic, a rigid plastic conduit, and most, most of the time you're going to buy your um, bins already pre-done. You can use a heat gun to, to heat it up and bend it that way, but here I have a 90 degree, here I have a 45. And um, that's basically what it looks like. It's a gray conduit, non-metallic. And here I have a PVC connector, which what you'll do is you take some glue and glue that, and you can put it around your PVC. It works just like that. So this will be going into a box. Um, here's a coupling. So you can take two pieces of PVC and they go together like that. Standard coupling. 
And here I have a female adapter. So this is for um, one side PVC. And um, you could come out like <coughs> PVC. You can change over to Carflex. It's one way it can be used. Hmm. So it's not tightening in there very well, but basically something like that. And this is a female adapter. So that's PVC. Um, we just showed a CarFlex connector. Uh, this is a CarFlex straight. And this is a CarFlex 90. And this is a non-metallic flexible conduit. And it looks like this, it's great. And um, you're really not going to see couplings for this. You don't want to use a coupling on a CarFlex. It's going to be, uh, you can get some pretty long pieces where I've never had to use a coupling for a CarFlex. And uh, if you had something so long that you needed a coupling, you probably want to put a pull box anyway. So uh, not really a such thing as a car flex coupling. You just you have your two main connectors. It's a 90 degree car flex, 90 degree straight. Um, there is another type of conduit that's called seal tight, and it, it's similar to car flex. It has the non-metallic flexible coating, but on the inside it has a uh, a metallic interior, and that's going to be seal tight. So um, knowing the difference puts you way ahead out there in the field. Car flex non-metallic, seal tight, metallic with non-metallic sh uh, sheathing. And then this is just your regular old flex. It comes in aluminum and steel. Um, the connectors are very similar to the non-metallic. You have a 90 degree connector and you also have a uh, straight connector. So this is just metal flex. And then you have uh, your blue ENT uh, some people call it smurf tube. Um, this stuff goes into slabs. You can use it in, I've used it in metal stud walls. Uh, there are different applications, um, but it's very similar to everything else. You have your coupling and your connector. You might be able to get a 90 degree connector like this. I just don't have one. Um, I'm really not sure. I don't think I've ever used a 90 degree connector with smurf tube. Um, this is a, just another, another option for you when you're thinking about conduits. And um, I think that's it. I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Is there, can you tell me how long this video has been going on? Eight minutes, seven seconds. Okay, so yeah, we've already been at it for a good while. I'm gonna go ahead and um, cut out on this one. Um, if, you, if you like this video and you wanna see more informative type videos like this, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know that um, you're interested in this kind of stuff and that will keep me making them. So if I, if I see that no one's interested or it's not what y'all want to hear, or what you want to see, I'm, I'm not going to have it up on the channel. Um, so it's not really for me. These videos aren't for me. It's for you guys. And the best way for me to know what you guys want to see is, uh, through those methods of thumbs ups and comments. Um, so that's going to be it for this video until next time. Peace.